how to create animation videos in Canva. Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to create animation videos in Canva. So this is a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Now let's get right into it. So first off, the first thing that we need to do is to simply open an untitled design here in Canva. And what I have chosen for the size is 16 by 9. Here in the left hand side, we can actually see a panel. So here you can choose your element, download a photo that you would want to add into your animation video, add a text and the likes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to go to the element section. Say for example, I'm going to look for a children back to school um, animation video or I'm going to create one. So here I'm simply going to create the elements or look for the elements associated to it so say for example school so here you just need to choose the element that you would be using for the video so here as you can see there is actually a pro sticker under the sticker or the element rather that means to say only pro users could make use of it but if you want to make use of that specific element then you would need to pay for a subscription fee at canva so here i'm going to simply select a element so i'm gonna choose a colorful one so say for instance this one i'm gonna put it here make it bigger and just drag it place it to the um, position that you would want to put it into so I'm gonna put it right there now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look for other elements or simply uh, choose the background color so I'm gonna make a uh, sky blue as my background color okay now next is we're gonna add some clouds into it so let's go back to the elements section i wanted to make it more animated so what i can suggest guys if you want to really make an animated video go to the graphic section of the elements because you can actually see more animated um contents or suggestions from canva okay now let's just position the clouds you can actually click on the plus icon in order for you to add more clouds so there it's just right beside the um trash can button okay now let's reposition it okay now once you've repositioned and place everything right there the next thing that i'm going to do is to simply like um look for other elements as well but let me just finish this right up here. Okay. There you have it. You could also resize the element by clicking on this one and dragging the circle on the edges of the square. So there. Okay. Now let's add a sun to the picture or to the... Uh, presentation so there let's create an animated one or let's choose an animated picture of the sun you can actually resize it and there so another thing that i'm gonna make use of is i'm gonna add a text so you just need to click on the text section here in the left hand panel and here above you can actually choose an alignment that you would want to have all right so i want to make it like um very centered so i use that one now as you can see the texts are not aligned to each other or not in the same position so i'm just gonna simply drag the side of the square and there now let's reposition it and when we reposition it i'm gonna place it right here okay so we can actually um edit the effects of the text as well so say for instance we want to change the font so choose your desired font right here 
and then you could also add some colors say for example let's add yellow okay as you can see it's not adding the color so you really need to um highlight the word and then you just need to place the color of your choice so let's try to look for another color say for instance orange okay all right so it doesn't suit well so let's go back to black as our default color okay all right so green doesn't suit well as well okay let's go back to our default color highlight it and choose black okay now if you want to make it like a curve the next thing that you can do is actually click on the effects section here in the menu bar and then make it curve now there you just need to reposition and resize it when you want to resize a specific element or text then you just need to drag the circles in the corners of it okay all right there you have it now we're missing some children so let's go back to our element section and here in the element section we're gonna look for children okay now let's go to the graphic section since in the photo section it's more of like the humanistic or human side of the you know not really the animated one so of course we want to make an animated video for today's uh video so there so you can simply resize the and animate it here okay so say for instance we just want to animate a specific element you just need to click on the element and choose the effect or the animation that you would want to have okay say for example you have the pan section right here if you want to have the text animation then you could also choose right there so there you have it okay now another way is that if you want to animate a certain page then you can go to the page animation section instead of the element animation so that it would be easier for you to distinguish and it would be more uniformed so say for example i'm gonna go to page animation right here so it's still in the left hand panel as you can see i have my element animation right here as for the moment all right so here let's have our page animation so say for example we want to have the simple one the sleek the fun the party the chill the disco so i'm gonna have the party so that it would be more appropriate and um you know since our audience are kids it would be very fun for them to look at now, if you want to add a page, then you can simply do that and then we we can simply, uh, you know, repeat the process of adding elements, of adding a text. So, say for example, we want to add a square right here. Then we want to add some reminders into the next section or to the next page. So, we're going to simply resize it. Alright, there you have it. And then... Uh, let's add some elements to it you could also edit the photo so here in the um, edit photo section you can see the effects you can crop it you can adjust it and there are some filters that you could also make use of okay so here let's go to the element section or let's add a text first so I'm gonna add a text box and then I'm gonna input here reminders okay now let's reposition it and then let's add another text box so in the other text box you're just gonna input like your reminder number one number two number three and then you can simply repeat the process so i'm gonna make this font um way smaller than the reminder section which is our heading okay now i'm gonna make it left as well then we're gonna add a text in a while okay so let's go to the element section first i'm gonna add some children again 
and I'm gonna have this studying kids right here. So, there. Okay, now once everything's repositioned, add the text below. So here in the text below, I am going to simply um, input, like, say for example, you should arrive on time or in school on time. Okay, so there. Then you want to make it bigger, then you could also like rip resize the size of it you could reposition it if it's too like here in the left and there okay now you just need to add a animation so for example you want to have like the party animation still then you could still make use of that one all right and there you have it now let's take a look at how it looks like if it's being presented. So just click on the present button here in the upper right hand corner beside share. And then I'm going to present full screen. Click on present. And this is how it looks like. So when you save this on your file, don't forget to choose MP4 instead of the PDF. Because in those other options, it will not animate. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching.